and things. To tell us more, Charlotte is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and uh, at, at the Royal Court. Yeah. Which is a very special place to go, isn't very, it? Very, very special place, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful theatre. So tell us a bit about this play. It's about a New Year celebration. New Year's Eve New party, New Year's Eve. yeah. So there's a kind of a group of, well, like you just said, 30 somethings all getting together for a New Year's Eve party. It's kind of a group of people who haven't necessarily been. As, 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 as happens with people of that age, you know, life kind of takes over and um, you don't see as much of each other, but they're getting back together for a sort of reunion struck New Year's Eve party. And um, they're all looking to kind of get away for the weekend, have a bit of fun, but they're kind of, the trappings of their lives kind of come with them for the whole weekend and it's, as things unfold, you see the comedy of um, the dilemmas with iPhones and not being able to leave your children at home and, mm. and then uninvited guests, things like that. So And some serious mm -hmm. issues as well, but but we yeah. don't want to talk too much about it because you were saying, <laughs> don't give away. The don't play. give away the Please don't give away. Yeah, of course <laughs> we won't. Yeah. Um, last year you were in Easy Virtue. Yeah. Uh, and uh, playing the not-so-ex-girlfriend. That's what a lot I of know. people have seen you. I, I know. know. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> Why the big panda eyes? Sarah. I've often meant to ask you something, but I hadn't the courage. Well, don't then. Did you think I behaved like a cad, marrying Larry to like that without telling you? Of course not. You took the opportunity and married for love, and I respect you for it. If we'd have married, it would have been for friendship and convenience. Would it? Yes. And you want another far too well. I want my marriage to be thrilling, romantic, with passionate love letters. I could have written you love letters. <laughs> you didn't, did you? I did love you all the same. Do you want to stop it? Oh, see, there you are, all refined and posh yeah, with that yeah. <laughs> lovely hairdo. And then the last thing I saw you in was the take where you played a, a, a gangster's mob oh, in, yeah. in a very hard hitting yeah. series, that was, yeah, wasn't it? it was so you wonderful. got quite a, a range. Yeah, I've been lucky. It's quite. Um, it's, it's really amazing to have the opportunity to do things like that, to be honest, and do things. Well, I love working with accents, as mm. my friends and family know. I just love any opportunity to in a different accent. And, and that was one of the wonderful things about doing the take, was having to learn an East End accent. And But you, it's interesting, you've got these different accents, because you, you did this, the, the Cockney of the take, you had your yeah. posh there, but this is your natural this is accent, my, yeah. which is from where? I'm from Teesside. From Teesside. Because yeah. you'd have thought, possibly, that you would... <laughs> Adopt the sort of the up being actress, the RP. Yeah. Would you receive pronunciation? Well, I think it's it's interesting. Cause I think um, I remember having a chat when I was doing. I did a play called The Cherry Orchard. Down. Oh but no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. But I've I've always had a good response to um, having an accent. You and, keep it. Yeah, you yeah, keep and and, and voice. you know it's. It's hard to be able to do the RP yeah. for for roles such as that. Because yeah. always, when you go home, I suppose if you went home. And talk to RP. They'd say, oh, what my dad to our would lass? not be happy. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be made clowning workshop. Yeah, what, I did, what happened there? I, I, I went to university and did a degree, and then mm. I had about two years between uh, before I started um, doing um, training, um, drama training at, at Lambda, and I, I did a course called uh, called How to Be a Stupid with a lady called Angela De Castro, and it's kind of all, it's all clown work, and then did more at Lambda. And then just been to Paris to do another course with a, a gentleman called Philippe Gollier. And how does that help your acting, playing the clown? Um, it kind of, for me anyway, the thing that I love about the clown is it, it, it kind of allows you to keep the pleasure going and the sparkle going and the, um, just the excitement, especially on stage, it really helps when you're having to repeat a performance, finding new things to play with and new, you know, little mischievous things to get up, up to on stage and things like that. And mm. just keeps the... Any clowning around in the, in the Priory then at the Royal Court? Yeah, there's definitely in my character there's qualities that, that I was, that I learnt at Lambda and, and over the summer that mm. was able to use in this character. So. You see, you find your own clown as well, don't you? Yeah. Everybody yeah. has their own yeah. clown. Yeah. No, yeah. I've been told often enough I'm a clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the right reasons. <laughs> Charlotte, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you for having me. Good luck with the play. Oh, cheers, thanks. Now, Strictly's professional dancer Erin Bogue will be here.